Congratulations on the new addition to your family. We know this is a very exciting time and there are many things to consider as new parents. One thing you can do for your child right away is to make sure they have a legal father by voluntarily establishing paternity. Paternity means fatherhood. When parents are married, paternity is automatically established. When parents are unmarried, paternity is not automatically established. However, the process can and should be started at the hospital after the baby is born. Even if you are considering marriage in the future, paternity still needs to be established for all children born prior to the marriage. Fathers make a difference. By establishing a legal relationship between the father and child, you give your child the same legal rights of a child born within a marriage. Having both parents involved in a child's life benefits the child in many ways. Establishing paternity gives your child the emotional benefit of knowing who both parents are, allows the father's name to be placed on the original birth certificate, makes your child eligible to be covered under both parents' medical insurance, provides your child social security benefits, as well as potential veterans' benefits and other inheritance rights. Children with both parents involved have better physical and mental health, perform better in school, are more likely to attend and graduate from college, and make more money over the course of their lifetime. <laughs> Every year, hundreds of thousands of parents complete voluntary declarations of paternity. This process is quick, easy, free, and you don't have to go to court. Parents will be given the paternity forms at the hospital. A hospital staff member will discuss information about the paternity establishment process with the parents. When both parents sign the paternity declaration form, paternity is legally established. A signed declaration of paternity has the same legal effect as a court order establishing paternity. By signing the declaration, you are stating that you do not want genetic testing or a court hearing to determine paternity. By signing the declaration, you are stating that you do not wish to have a trial in court to decide the issue of paternity, to have notice of any hearing on the issue of paternity, to have the opportunity to present your case to the court, including the right to present and cross-examine witnesses, to have an attorney represent you, or to have an attorney appointed to represent you if you cannot afford one in an action filed by the local child support agency. These are your rights related to paternity, and by signing the form, you are waiving these rights. If either parent is under 18 when the child is born, the signed paternity declaration will not legally establish paternity for the child until 60 days after both parents are 18 or legally emancipated. Minor parents are still encouraged to complete a paternity declaration at the hospital. If you are unsure whether or not you are the biological father and you would like genetic testing to confirm paternity, you should not sign the form. You can contact your local Child Support Services Agency at 866-901-3212 to discuss genetic testing options. If you need to cancel or rescind the paternity declaration, there is a 60-day time frame in which you need to complete a paternity rescission form. This form can be obtained from the Child Support Services Agency. A declaration of paternity may be challenged in court only in the first two years after a child's birth by using genetic tests that prove the man is not the biological father. It may also be overturned if the father or mother is able to prove that he or she signed the form due to fraud, duress, or material mistake of fact. You should contact the local POP coordinator immediately for information about the process. Remember, establishing paternity greatly benefits your child now and in the future. Ask hospital staff for the paternity forms today.